You're, You're with, with the, the Breaker, Breaker Leggers. Leggers! And we're in London at one of our most favourite theatres, the Almeida. To see a brand new play, Against. So stay tuned to find out how many legs... Whether it's Breaker Leg... Or, or Leg It! Before you go any further... To make sure you've got your finger on the theatrical pulse... For theatre news, reviews and interviews... Hit the subscribe button now. Against. What do we know about Against? Brand new play, premiering here at the Almeida. It's a play by Christopher Shin, whose previous credits include Teddy Ferrara, which the Don Warehouse. Yeah, recently was at the Donmar Warehouse. He's also won Obie Awards, and he's um, written short plays for Headlong. He is... Um, you know, getting a quite a reputation for himself. It's interesting to see something new. Directed by Ian Rickson, who has also done Jerusalem, or rather, who also did Jerusalem. Yeah, with Mark Rylance in. and very acclaimed, and wasn't it? Heavily acclaimed, transferred from the Royal Court right into the West End, had a great run, even went over to Broadway. He also did The River and The Weir. Yes. Two other very good pieces that had transfers also. Absolutely, so high hopes for this one. Must be said, we're seeing the first preview. Yes, so first previews are the very first time that the cast perform to an audience. To a paying audience at least. To a paying audience. Usually the last performance is the dress rehearsal. So it's dress rehearsal, preview. Yeah. Anything could happen. And anything can change between now and its official opening in around two weeks time. So the show may develop depending on audience reactions to it. But unfortunately this is the only chance we've had to slot it into our very busy theatre going schedules. However the good news is that you're getting the first taste of what this piece is. Absolutely. Biggest draw for this is possibly the lead cast member. Ben Whishaw. Yeah the gorgeous Ben Whishaw. Very talented. I saw him in Peter and Alice alongside Judy Dench a few years ago. We both saw him in the back in Back Eye here at the Almeida. He was fantastic. He was fantastic. But he's done TV credits? Yeah TV and film he's very known for. He's very photogenic so he shows up very well on screen. Including including playing Q in the most recent Bond films. Yeah, think, um, also the voice of Paddington. Yeah, in the new Paddington movie. reboot movies. Uh, also, what else has he done? London Spy, the On gay TV. drama. Yes, The Hours? The Hour? The Hour. The, the hour, hour, which was about a TV news journalist, I think. Okay. I didn't see it. And also, is it a movie, Lilting? Yes, which got a lot of international awards as it was part of Japanese production. So, as it is the first preview, we're not entirely sure how it's going to be received, but we will let you know when we get to the interval. We have come to the interval of Against at the Almeida Theatre, which means it is time for the Breaker Leggers 30 Second Interval Breakdown! Go! What do you think so far? I have 15 seconds of this time to use up. I'm going to say dull, 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 and dull. How about you? I think there are performances that are good. They obviously care. Um, the, the, the cast is good. However, yeah, I, I just don't care about the lead character at all. He's on this quest that's been given by God, and I don't give a sh We've come to the end of Against at the Almeida, one of our favourite venues. Yeah, it is one of our favourite venues. With Surely. A strong reputation. Strong reputation. For producing world-class theatre. Stuff that transfers to the West End quite often. And, you know, with Almeida with such a great cast and such great director, what could possibly go wrong? So uh, what did you think of it? Um, what could go wrong was pretty much everything, to be honest. Uh, the... Uh, the the core material is utter tripe and there is no amount of direction that can possibly save it, um, yet the direction that has been enforced in this piece is poor at best. What did you think? Yeah, and I'm trying to think, you know, we're seeing a first preview, so, you know, you're tightening things up, getting stuff together, finding the tempo. <laughs> It's just not there though. Yeah, it's you... not in the writing. I just couldn't see what you could do. The preview period is, is for refinement, is for understanding an audience's reaction and tuning up the edges. But you need to go back to the core material with this one. Go back to the script. 
burn it and start all over again. Yeah, I, I was desperately trying to think what you could do. And each act, the first act is now on 20, second act is now on 15. Even if you shaved 20 minutes off the first act and 15 minutes off the second made it pacey, but I thought, you know, I, I still wouldn't care. No. And I think that's the fundamental problem with this piece is that you just do not care about the main character at all. It feels almost Period. bereft of any emotion. For me, it's a director's duty to draw emotion out from an actor's performance, but when it's not given to you in the written word in the first place, God, as an actor, have you got a really difficult task on your hands? Yeah, I, I'm thinking, I do feel a bit sorry for the cast, because the cast are uh, clearly mostly talented. Capable. Uh, mostly capable. I thought they were pretty capable. There are some performances that stood out that we'll talk about, but I think in, in terms of, you know, Ben did his best. I thought he did in... He, he was kind solid. Of embodied this, he was like a Silicon Valley, if you imagine like these young young um, people coming out of Harvard who've got big ideas and going to become yeah, um, like the Mark CEOs. Zuckerbergs yeah, of the world. That kind of person, a, energy. Yeah. And he embodied that. I could almost see, okay, he's done his research, he's looked at the videos, and I could see that he embodied that character. Yeah. However, I still didn't care. No. And it's down to the writing. Absolutely. It is all coming back to the writing. I would be very surprised if they managed to turn this one around <laughs> during previews. There was uh, things that there were things that happened in Act Two, which I felt, you know what? If you'd have put this kind of stuff in Act One, then it would have made me be coming back after the interval with a little bit of hope and a little bit of forgiveness for the lacking in the text. But it, it, it was too little far too late. Yeah, it was the only time it picked up was in the last 15 minutes, literally five, ten minutes before the end, there was a little bit of pace. Yeah. A little bit of something actually happened. Apart from that, there was nothing. The themes for this are about consumerism, are about um, how I mean, there are, there are a lot of themes, actually. The, the piece is a bit of a mess. I mean, it yeah, doesn't really know what themes. it is. But there is a little harp on to um, what does what we buy make us? Do our jobs, um, do they define us? Do our, that, that kind of thing. What and do we do that is violent in the, this first act? Yeah. Everybody is violent there or endorses a, violence? There, was a huge, there were a lot of parallels to be drawn from Gloria, which we saw at the Hampstead recently. And you can catch our review for that just up there. But it... It feels that Gloria was a masterclass compared to this in that sort of self-reflection, what is it we strive for, who do we want to be and what are we going to do to get there, uh, compared to this which just left me totally and utterly cold. Yeah, uh, in terms of this style of presenting theatre is something I like in terms of having pretty much a bare stage and having your cast on stage quite often, uh, letting the audience use its imagination. I like that type of theatre, except I didn't, it did nothing and it was slow, it just didn't move, it had so much potential but failed. No, it had potential in so much as what is at your fingertips at the Almeida, but it had no potential in terms of what the script writer is offered. So, let's get on to some cast members. Yeah. Were there any cast members that stood out to you? Yeah, whilst we are kind of dragging it through the mud a little bit, there were a couple of really lovely performances. Kevin Harvey, who played the characters of John and of the Professor, um, it gave two so distinctive performances that mm. I had to scour the stage to see to make sure it was the same guy. His acting choices were beautiful and he is so capable. I would be, I would love to see him again. I absolutely adored his choices. I, I absolutely agree with what you're saying. Um, quite a lot of the cast played a number of characters and his two were very differentiated, differentiated? Yeah different mm -hmm. and um, he was very comfortable and smooth on stage. Yeah, and you particularly like Amanda Hale as Sheila and Kate, she doubled up in that part too. Yes. Again, very distinctive performances. Yeah, very different and she was just very, very, um, I was just drawn to her. There were a couple of times where I didn't pick up some of her lines but I think that will be ironed out over the next couple of performances but there was a very um, engaging performance. The rest of the cast have been dealt a real dud which is absolutely a shame because I'm sure that with the right script and a great director they could be wonderful. There were, uh, going back to the material again just briefly, there were characters 
with no point. Their scenes had no, didn't feed into the main plot whatsoever. I, just I couldn't didn't make the link between Why? what they were saying, doing, and being into how that fed into the story. It was almost like it felt like it was part of a different play. Uh, I, just, I, I can't thought it was, work it yeah, out. It was almost at one point I was thinking, is this? Is, did he have a screen in mind, and maybe we wanted to dance between? Uh, on screen, it would work a lot better, perhaps. But um, no, it didn't make any sense. We were just introduced to these characters. We could have easily lost a couple of those scenes and dropped in on certain bits. And I, I just did, didn't see the point. I'd be really interested to see what the critics make of this when the press night happens and the reviews come out. Maybe we've missed something. You could tell there was a very forgiving audience tonight. First yes. preview night audience, friends and family in. and. Uh, ben Wishaw fans will have a field day uh, just looking at him. He gets his kit off at one point, so that's, uh, that was, uh, that's where a highlight. Interesting. That's a highlight. But outside of that, uh, he's done much better work on screen and stage previously. Yeah, I think they were lucky on this audience. They were very forgiving. Mm. But hey, I, I, I bet you're wondering how many legs we're going to give this piece. So for against playing at the Almeida for a limited season, we are going to give... One. one. Just one leg. Yeah. An absolute and utter disappointment. Yeah. We, we mentioned this show in our two, 15 unmissable shows of 2017. You've got the right... the right um, venue, the, you've got the right, the right ingredients. cast, you've got the right director, yeah. and yet it's fallen flat. Looking out into the audience, the poor lady beside me was falling asleep, yeah, the knocking lady her in head. Front was asleep. Lady ahead, ahead against the pillar, everyone was just so disengaged. Yeah. We're back at the Almeida later in the year to see Albion, the collaboration again teaming up Rupert Gould with Mike Bartlett, and I hope for the best guys because the treatment was poor. Hamlet was okay, and this, this is, not, is good. not good. But you know, Please don't yeah. take your... I don't want the army to go off the boil. No, I think that the refreshing is they don't... The refreshing thing is they don't always get it right, but when they get it right, they get it so right. Yeah. When we think of what has started here and what has transferred from here, and what we've seen here, yeah. we know that they can produce some great stuff, and at least it's, it's good to try. Yeah, it's absolutely. Good to try new also, it's a great value venue, so you can pick up tickets relatively cheaply. So even if you don't have the best of night outs, you don't feel like, like you've utterly wasted your money. We feel as if we've wasted our time and effort on yeah. this production, but what do you think if you got to see it? Let us know, like, subscribe, send us a message, follow us on Twitter, we're the Breaker Leggers, and we'll catch you again soon. Bye! Bye.